The price is wrong, bitch. Now, 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 long head don't care, bitch. I don't give a fuck, open me up in the new window. Talking about the ball, share a launch chair, chilling in the kitchen, screaming, whipping up the dope while I'm playing Nintendo. Slip my limp, no five nine, stay in the dark. Fuck the limelight, bitch. It's my kinfolk, dead throw, since 94, dick throw. A little bit to the left till I find the right ho, ho. Really, though, I hate when cool motherfuckers say they got a sick flow. Sound like Cora Winslow, bitch, I'm spitting dead snow. That's a good movie, we can watch it, we can fuck it, man. You can go to bed, ho. Welcome back everyone, I hope you're having a great day. You know, it's been a really busy week for me, so I haven't had much time to work on a formal video. So today, instead of reviewing a game or ranting about something I don't like, I'm going to tell you about a story in my life that's quite possibly the most devastating prank anyone has ever pulled off on me. It was quite simply very stupid, but it was a very effective prank, and it quickly snowballed into one of the most embarrassing moments of my entire life. So this story goes back several years to when I was a senior in high school. My friend Andy was at my house and he needed to buy my library card because his teacher was making him write a research paper. He claimed that he wasn't allowed to use online sources and the paper was due in two days, so he was really desperate, or at least he appeared to be. You know, I was with my friends, I didn't think much of it, so I just gave him the card and just figured whatever. I forgot about the entire ordeal until like a month later. My mom came yelling to my room and told me that the library had sent us a fine because I hadn't returned the books. And I immediately remember that Andy had borrowed my card and probably did this just to mess with me. But to make matters worse, these were all books about black magic, devil worship, and abortion. Yeah. My mom was just really mad at me and mad about the situation and simply told me, just go pay the fine, you're old enough to screw up your own life at this point, just do whatever you want, just pay the fine. So I went over to Andy's house, he lived a couple blocks away, and I immediately just smacked him in the forehead as soon as I saw him. He told me this was just a joke, but, uh, you know, at least he offered to pay part of the bill. Yeah, you see, he only could pay part of the bill because in addition to being a complete idiot, he was also fucking broke. So he also gave me back the books and my car and offered to drive into the library. Man, this is like where the story gets really screwed up. So I go over to the service desk and waited in line for what seemed to be a year. Like, I don't know why, but there was a lot of people there. So when we finally get called up, I told the clerk that some guys, you know, stole my wallet and checked out these books. It wasn't me. But she didn't believe me. She asked me for a place report, and I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll just pay the bill. It was only like 15 bucks. And then to make matters worse, like, to like certainly penalize me or, you know, make an example out of me, she read the titles of the books out loud, and everyone in the lobby kind of looked at me and laughed at me. And is like, what the hell is, you know, wrong with this kid? Why is he, you know, in the devil worship? So I paid her. I return the books. I get my card back. And as soon as I'm walking out the door... A lady just gets in front of me and starts screaming at me that I'm going to burn hell and that I'm a devil worshiper and that I'm condemned to hell, basically. And I was like, lady, this isn't what happened. It's not what it looks like. This, my friend had borrowed my books. And she still didn't believe me. She, she was just yelling at me. And at some point, like a security guard even to come over and break us up. And meanwhile, everyone in the entire library is laughing at me. It was like completely embarrassing. It was out of control. So I go out, I'm walking out of the building now, walking towards the parking lot, and I look behind me, and the lady is still behind me. And this time, she reached into her purse and pulled out a crucifix, which she's waving at me and still telling me that, oh, you're going to burn in hell. Oh, something, something, you know, Satan or whatever. And, ah, oh, man, I, I just couldn't believe this was happening. And Andy, in the meanwhile, is just sitting there laughing out the window. And I finally walk up to his car, and I'm pounding on the door, like, Andy, you gotta let me in. Let me in, Andy. This lady is just, you know, out of, out of her mind. And he's still laughing at me. And finally, you know, he released the locks. I get in. I'm like, Andy, you're a big fucking dick. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story, even though it was short. Um, I'm also going to try to make an Overwatch video this weekend. I heard there's a new character coming out that's like a sniper meta class, so it's going to be interesting. And uh, I also want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who subscribed, liked, or even commented on my last video. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much for all the feedback. And again, also, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stay safe and uh, have a great day. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero.